All right, you guys, welcome back to the vlog. So Raymond and I, Raymond Warner, we have a bet going on right now. So what this bet is, is I'm on my way to Calix right now to go meet up with Raymond. And he says I'm going to be there by 2.13. I say I'm going to be there by 2.06. It is 1.58 by now, I believe. So I think I'm going to get there in a couple of minutes. He thinks I'm going to be there in like 13 minutes. He's tripping. So this is basically going to be uh, me proving him wrong. A few moments later. All right, so it was, by the time I got here, it was 2.05. Now it's 2.10. I'm all fully padded up. I got my elbow things and <laughs> I got my underpants knee pads and now I got to got my scooter. Now I have my new scooter. I can't wait to test it out. Today's going to be the first day of testing out the new Z350. I haven't tested this one. I've tested out the Z300 and the Z375. So I'm extremely excited today. So of course, today I think I'm going to try to flare bar. I'm going to try to flare bar a couple of times. Uh, I've done it before. It's really hard for me, but we'll see if I can actually do it today. I think the only thing left I have to do is get on my helmet and I'm good to go. I gotta put I gotta put a sticker on my helmet because you know I haven't really showed this out. I haven't actually shouted out the person who made this for me. He's actually a homie. He came in and brought me some uh, Garlotta Gang stickers that he made. I thought it was awesome and I really appreciate it. So thank you for making me Stephen Garlotta stickers and Garlotta Gang stickers. If you guys want to check him out, his link is down in the description. Of course, you guys can go check him out and get custom stickers made. Perfect. I look like an alien. Yeah, Steven. All right, you good. Thank you. How good do I possibly look right now? Ow. Uh, I just died. Kick flip. Kick flip out. Kick flip? Can you kick flip out? Out of there? Yeah. Try. Let's Why see. not first go? That's for sure. Second go. Have you ever done that before? Huh? Have you ever done that before? Yeah, do you pro? Alright? Yeah. Yo, if I can heal rewind and dead. Ah! Uh -huh. Damn it, I can't hop in my video. Gertrude. There you go. Just got back to back clips. That was sick. Insane, dude. That was so <laughs> sick, Steve. -o. Let's go. Hyped hey, Steve. -o. Want to go to the bank and get a bank session? Let's get the bank and bank in session. <laughs> yeah, bro. How did you Are pull you it around so place? fast? You know? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Oh. Alright, so Gert and I, we're going to try some tricks. Gert's going to try to learn how to truck driver. I'm going to try to do three bar bar. You going to do it? I'm really bad at this bank, so yeah, I think so. Alright, guys. Oh, what? Hold on, my helmet's white. Oh, wait, no, no, it's not. <laughs> There we go. Good job. Oh, there we go. Good job. That was a good one. Bro, bro you, you know it's a good day when not only do you have two vloggers here, me and Raymond, but now we have a third vlogger here. Look at this. Look at this. That's Steve-O. I don't believe this. Look at it. Oh my. cameras. Oh my goodness. Three cameras at the skate park. You know this is like $10,000 in the skate park, right? Guys. So as you guys saw in that clip, um, actually my boy Trevor, where are you from Trevor? Uh, West Hills, California. Where, where's that at? Uh, San Fernando Valley. Dang, that's pretty far. Um, as you guys saw in that clip, he actually did a 360. Was that the first 360 you've ever done? Yes. Very nice. Good job, Trevor. Are, are, are you guys, are you guys Trevor's parents? Yes. Very nice. Are you guys, you guys have a great kid. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Your videos. So back away. So many people's videos. I, I don't know. Are you recording this? <laughs> I'll try to board the bar. Uh -oh. Is that not wax? No. Not at all. Oh. 50 to hard for me. Oh. Click the card. Does that? Oh wait. Click the card. 
the next day. All right, so now I'm here at the Riverside Scooter Zone, and guess what? There's no one here. I actually have to go inside right now to go grab pandemoniums, new fusion stuff, proto, tilt, basically the whole nine yards. And I'm waiting here, I've been here for probably about 20 minutes, and still no one has showed up. My phone died, so I'm charging it in the back, but right now I think I'm gonna try to get some clip. All right, you guys, I just wanted to say really, really fast. I'm sorry this video is really jumpy. It's not meaning to be. Last night, the owner ended up getting to the shop around, I think it was um, like 10 o'clock. He was coming from like LA or something, so it took him a while to get there. But since then, I got, I got pandemoniums and more. Since I do run a scooter shop, a lot of people ask me how do they make their scooters lighter. Well, there's also things that you need to know that will also hinder your scooter from getting lighter and heavier and things like that. Right now, I'm gonna give you guys the ultimate guide to making the lightest scooter. Now, decks can do one of two things. First off, a deck, if the heavier the deck is, the more weight there's gonna be for when you do tail whips. The lighter the deck, the more you have control and you can stop the whip. So the lighter the deck you have, that means the easier it is gonna to be to build off around there and go with the lightest forks, lightest bars, lightest everything. Basically right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be telling you guys what you're gonna to do to your normal scooter. So obviously if you wanna get the world's lightest scooter, you would have to go with the Ethic Pandemonium. It is the lightest thing you guys can possibly get. It's a really good deck, but let, let's not go that way. I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your scooter lighter without getting like a 250 $50 deck. But the Pandemonium, it's an insanely light deck. If you guys do want the world's lightest scooter, go with the Ethic Pandemonium. It's a great deck. It's insanely light. But, like, let's say I wanted to make my scooter lighter. I, all I would do is I'm going to give you guys some tips on what to do. But let's say you don't want to buy a new deck. You love the deck you have and you love the feeling of it. It's not too heavy, not too light. You basically just want to take off some excess weight that you guys don't necessarily need. All right, you guys, so the next thing that I'm gonna be going over is when you're making your scooter lighter, what you don't want to do, and this might sound a little weird, you don't want to ride 120 wheels because, now that might sound a little weird, but let me find, let me find a good, so are these 120s? These might be 110s. These are 110s. I'll use it for instance. The Fasten 120 wheels, and let me grab, I'm gonna grab my shit. All right, so when you go with the Fast 120 wheels, you put them on the scale, and they are one pound and one pound and 3.6 ounces. And let's go with like, let's say an AO wheel and 110, they are not even a pound. So if you are trying to make the world's lightest scooter, I would recommend going with 110 millimeter wheels. It's gonna be lighter and all, yeah, that's good. It's gonna be lighter. And that's what I would recommend for one of the first, uh, uh, okay. If uh, you're trying to get the lightest scooter, I would recommend going with Holocore 110 millimeter wheels. If you are trying to make your scooter as light as possibly can and you're gonna get some new wheels for Christmas, go with 110 millimeter wheels, not 120s. Bar, so the lightest way to go with your scooter is definitely gonna be with HRC, a Aztec Anthem fork, and like some like, any type of titanium bar, it's gonna make your scooter light. So if you guys cannot go with uh, titanium bars, one thing I would recommend going with is going to be like an aluminum bar. These are the brand new Fusion bars. They come in oil slick, black, and chrome. These things are super sick. Um, I think they run about, I think like 80 bucks. So they're really good price, they're extremely light. Let's see how heavy they are. They're about like two pounds. Two, point, two pounds and 1.3 ounces. And they already do have grips in them, so you don't have to worry about that. So that's how heavy they would be with grips and everything. And now, of course, if you guys are trying to go with the deck, like I said earlier, the Ethic Pandemonium deck is going to be the lightest one. But if you do add, like, let's say IHC with aluminum bars, your scooter's going to cut off probably about... A pound, maybe? Yeah, it'll cut off like, like a pound or two if you put on aluminum bars and aluminum fork. But IHC is one of the lightest compressions, and so is the HIC. But IHC... In, if you guys are trying to go for just lighter in general, go with IHC because Ethic Mara Forks, um, the Aztec Anthem Forks, they're going to be harder to find. Pretty much all IHC forks are going to be roughly the same weight. So if you are trying to go lighter, I would recommend going with IHC, like the new Fusion IHC forks 
or an NVSO BV3 fork, or like an NVC and C fork. Those are all really good IHC compressions that I highly recommend. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So those, that is going to be the way that you can make your scooter lighter if you do have like, let's say, if like, let's say you're running like steel bars, thicker fork, SES, stuff like that. Just by putting this stuff on it, it's going to make your scooter lighter. Um, so I hope this did help you guys a little bit. We're, today we're going to Escondido Skate Park for a ride day. It's gonna be me, Chris Thompson, and CEO, our newest scooter zone. Rider. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications and everything like that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.